career and technological education, training somebody on uh, helping a student and finding his or her interests based upon uh, what they want to do for a career, usually taught by a professional who's had experience in that field. So they not only get the experience, but they also get um, a course that's geared towards them meeting their career goals so that they can be successful in that. So coding for people would be basically writing a computer language so that the computer understands it that gives outputs that humans can understand. So it basically um, pulls information from databases or um, even different search engines so that people can um, have their information more organized and it can actually efficiently execute different processes that would normally take longer. We learn uh, various different like coding languages. So we've done Python, SQL, um, Visual Basics. And what it does is kind of gives us a step ahead when we go to college. So I plan to learn multiple languages as programming could be applied to multiple different things. So if I learn Python, I could use that for game development. I could use that to help program an app. I can use that for multiple little things. Those actually mirror the needs of the surrounding area. So one of the projects that I have on programming too is they have to find a real world situation, whether it's with their parents or uncle or aunt or somebody who works at a company and what are the pain points of that company. So we actually are doing a project right now in class and we're taking a real life problem and turning it into code and we're taking um, inventory management for my dad's company and we're making it into code to where we, he can actually go through and, and we're making it into a website and usable online. It's real world experience because in real world you're solving real problems, you're working with teams, and you're actually presenting your solutions for approval and actually giving uh, progress updates or scrums. It um, helps to teach them soft skills uh, as well, well as uh, coding skills. The biggest improvement that I have seen is just the interest in coding, the interest in computers. Success actually pays off if you study hard and you do the work. And I've actually seen students really proud of their stuff and literally showing off their work to other students as they're doing it. And being under a charter, we're kind of autonomous in the fact that we can actually structure the classes based upon the students' interests. And doing that, we can help them succeed in various careers. The environment at Brazier is really a family type environment that actually helps to nurture learning because I've heard somebody say one time that kids don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. It does pay off and colleges notice that higher GPA uh, coming from them, it's been particularly if they're a completer. Being a completer is actually completing, uh, that's basically the state requirements of, there's actually a test that you take. Then you will be considered a completer and I've been working uh, diligently so that they actually will not just say, hey, I completed it, they can put that on their college resume and it will put them just kind of a cut above other students because they will have completed a technology track at Brazier. Although kind of like sometimes it might start out a little slow, it gets faster in the end and it gets more interactive in the end, where it sometimes feels like you want to control the situation and you do get to do that at one point, but you have to learn and take the steps first. So this program, it's really uh, good if you want to learn, like keep learning something, like there's always something more you can learn, like it doesn't stop. I've done this for two years now and I still have so much I can learn from the program. That along with uh, really uh, cutting edge learning, I think, is what really helps set Brazier apart and make them a um, really amazing school to be a part of.